So let's look at this nifty little box of 12 colours. It's just an inexpensive kit that I got off of Amazon. Now it says on the side that it's shining glitter. It's not. It's a packet of nail pigment. It's not shining glitter. So I don't know why they've put that. Okay, so let's open the box and, and have a look at what we got here. I mean, to be quite honest, they've got quite a nice selection of colours. They've got different pinks, green and a yellow. So, and there's a white one there that I'm thinking of trying with an ombre. I mean, obviously the jars, they're not very big. You can see that if I pick one up, it, it's a fairly small amount. But typically you don't use uh, a big amount of pigments anyway. I got some really nice colours here. So what I want to do today is I want to make like a smoky effect on a dark nail. So let me just think how I want to do that and what colours I want to match together for a second. And usually you'll sort of see that when people do them, they do them on a black background. But I've decided to do mine on a dark metallic blue. And this is gel polish from Nao. So looking at these colours, I think I'm going to choose let me think green I think that'll look cool together and I need another color so let me see what I want here I think that I am just going to pick out a da -da -da -da, let's see yellow one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whip out a tip real quick and just put a thin coat of base on it so it sticks I'm just going to throw that in the lamp yeah okay so you really 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 need to do these two coats of a gel polish thin it's a dark color if you do them too thick they won't cure properly and they can look streaky and lumpy so just do two thin coats uh, rather than one big thick gooey one right, so let's just get that first coat on and put it in the lamp to cure right now that's done we're going to do the second coat and again we're just going to do a really nice thin layer can start from the middle coming down this is how you typically would do a um, extension or a natural nail as well the same way just thin light even strokes without putting too much pressure down okay that's done now what you've got to do is this is super important you've got to get a lint-free wipe uh, with some cleaner and wipe it properly if there's a sticky residue left on that nail, the pigment will stick to that as well. So really, really clean it thoroughly before you go into the paint. I'm going to be using a UV painting gel that needs to be cured in the lamp. I'll put a bit on a palette. I've just got an ordinary uh, gel brush. I'll dip it in, take the excess off and just sort of drag through and make it nice. I don't want it too thick. Just sort of thin even strokes just to get the outline and then just to fill it where I want it. So like I said, this is a UV gel painting, so that has to be cured in the lamp. So right, that's done. Let's just chuck it in. Okay, here comes the messy slash fun part. I managed to get the lids off. They've got like a seal underneath them. And typically I just try and get a little bit off the seal to not waste, but I couldn't. So I've just got to go straight into the pot. And there's still a tacky layer left Oh, don't wipe that off by the way, because you need something for the pigment to stick to. So with an eyeshadow applicator, I'm just sort of rubbing it in gently onto the um, sticky part. Let me just give you a tip. For the love of God, put paper, kitchen towel or whatever underneath. This is super messy and it goes everywhere. So if you don't want to spend the rest of the afternoon cleaning up, just put some paper down first. It will save you a lot of trouble. So um, I kind of edited a piece out here. That was me arguing with the green, uh, the green pigment to try and get the lids off. I made such a mess. I know I just said don't make a mess, but I did myself. To get the seals off, they can be really, really difficult. So if you've got a pair of tweezers or uh, the opposite end of a cuticle pusher, just to lift it up, that will save you some hassle because otherwise it's just going to go absolutely everywhere. This is the only thing about working with pigments and chrome and whatever that's really fine dust and it, it kind of floats in the air for a while. Same thing here as with the yellow. Just rub it onto what's left of the sticky part and I'm going to try and even out the middle just by blending it a little bit so it's kind of a yellow green ombre. So that's that done. So far so good yeah. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some top coat. Um, important thing is when you start applying top coat to pigment is that you kind of float it over the design because if you pull it too hard, what's going to happen is you're going to drag the pigment off and that is a really, really bad idea. So I'm just grabbing some top coat here and I'm going to start from the top, not the bottom for once, just to sort of get a nice even layer. As I said, I'm just going like super carefully. I'm actually just using like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more top coat than what I normally would do. As I said, that's just for, as a precaution so I don't go and smear everything everywhere. So right, that's done. Let's put that in the lamp and cure that. Okay, final result. I'm quite happy with that, to be quite honest. I'm really happy about the, how the colours turned out together. So please keep watching uh, because next time I'm going to do like an autumn design with this with glitter and mylar. I'm going to put as much of bling and stuff as I can on the nail as possible. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.